Here we are with Damien Wilson, for, who is the director of the MSc in Wine Business at Burgundy Business School. Um, Damien, you've just attended our briefing on engaging with the consumer. What, what would you really take away from that? I must admit, I'm, I'm very happy to see that the wine sector is uh, learning to engage consumers more effectively. When we started uh, talking about how important it was to speak consumer back in the uh, back in the early 90s, and it seems like it's taken a long time for the message to get through, but thankfully with this sort of briefing today and the people you have, uh, it's, it's very clear that there's this belief that you can't continue to fake sincerity. You know, people have to engage tools like Twitter and other forms of social media to be able to communicate more effectively with the consumer instead of talking at them. So we've done some uh, research using Twitter as a, as a tool to uh, find out how consumers and the trade talk about wine. And last October we studied uh, 5,500 tweets to look at how people communicate. And what we found in general is that uh, the corporate side of the wine sector, those businesses that have Twitter accounts, essentially they're just still engaging in one-way communications, they're promoting themselves and consumers aren't really, they're neither retweeting nor getting engaged in, in a discussion. Uh, critics and experts tend to talk more about their experience and their credibility, their knowledge as a, um, as a professional, and that will often get um, uh, will get retweeted because uh, uh, consumers want to show that they're in touch with someone, but it's seldom discussed. Consumers, on the other hand, talk about how wine is part uh, of the, their lifestyle. It's, it's an enjoyable characteristic. They don't talk about terroir, they don't talk about soil, they don't talk about uh, the, um, the, the knowledge that they've obtained in consuming this wine. They actually uh, talk about how wine is fun for them. So who they had it with, where they had it, what they had it with. And it was, uh, it's, it's really it's a far more enjoyable topic. And if we can start talking about wine as enjoyment instead of discussing it as a form of verbal prosac, I think the wine sector will be going on to, to really achieving that goal of engaging with the consumer more effectively.